previously on Undertale. The return to the underground as a true pacifist is going very well. Goat Mom is alive, Papyrus is still a bonehead, and Rin is still head over heels for a monster who will probably never spare her a second glance. What will this new path of pacifism lead to? Hopefully the love this cheeky human deserves. <gasps> oh my god, my loading screen! They're all here! Before it would like just be flowy, but are they my friends? They're all my friends! They're all here for me! Oh my god! Papyrus rejected us, and now all there's left to do is move on. Just ignore the pain until it goes away. <laughs> Ah uh, yes, the sound of rushing water makes me so calm. So do rocks falling from the rushing water. Rocks that will most definitely kill me. An avalanche, indeed, that will definitely murder me if I so choose to go and get hit by them. What happens if I- Whoa. Whoa! There's a secret room back here! There's a tutu lying on the ground here! Take it, take it, take it, take it! You got the old tutu! Are you freaking kidding me? You equipped the old tutu. I'm a little ballerina. I'm like Chrysanthemum the mouse. This is a new life, okay? No more manly bandana. We wear an old tutu like all of the great heroes of our time have. Oh, oh, oh. <gasps> oh, this shiny armor has never been so hot. Hi, Undyne. I'm here with my daily report. <laughs> uh, regarding that, uh, human I called you about earlier? I fought them valiantly. Did I, did I capture them? Well, uh, well, uh, no. <laughs> I, I tried very hard, Undyne, but in the end, I failed. You didn't fail, Papyrus. You chose love instead of fighting. And for that... Well, I don't really do anything. It's kind of the bare minimum to, to choose love, right? To choose out, to choose love and, and loyalty. <laughs> You're gonna take the human soul yourself? But but Undyne, you don't have to, have to destroy them, you see? You see, uh... I understand. I'll help you in any way I can. Wow, Papyrus really gonna wrap me up. Oh! I forgot that that happened and I got scared again! Whew, that was a close one. Anyway, uh, oh right! Goldfish. Come on, let's go watch her beat up some bad guys. I'm a little tutu wearer, I wear a tutu, cause I like to wear my tutu as a ballerina. Whoop. Oh great, not Aaron! Stop flexing at me, Aaron! I don't want your flexes! I only want my- ah! Oh, oh, I just finished the whole bridge. And dang it, I should have read the sign. So, well, maybe the sign should have been louder. Maybe the sign should have told me that I should have read it first. <gasps> Papyrus. Hello, this is Papyrus. So, uh, what are you wearing? I'm asking for a friend. Papyrus knows what he's doing. He knows what he's doing. He's denying his feelings for me. Yeah, he said I was denying my feelings for him. Yeah, sure, maybe that's true. But he's doing the same exact thing. I can see through you, Papyrus, quite literally, because you're a skeleton, like your skull. Like when you open your mouth, you can see right through the skull to the back. She thought she saw you wearing a dusty tutu. Is that true? Are you wearing a dusty tutu? You know what? Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest this time, because I'm proud. I am wearing a dusty tutu, and I'm proud of it. The dust adds flavor, and yes, I did lick it also. It tastes as it looks. So you are wearing a dusty tutu. Got it. Wink, wink. A long time ago, monsters would whisper their wishes to the stars in the sky. If you hoped with all your heart, your wish would come true. Now, all we have are these sparkling stones on the ceiling. I wish that Undyne would date me. That's my wish. I don't care if these aren't real stars and they're just sparkling uh, ceiling stones. They work well enough for me. Oh, fuck. You ask Washua to clean you? Green means clean. Oh, my crow. I'm gonna die from Washua. I... Uh, I have two hearts. I have three hearts. I can't go forward. I literally have three health. I'm about to die. Jeez, we're about to go meet Undyne again. I can't embarrass myself by having three hearts around her. Wait, what does this sign say? Congratulations. You failed the puzzle. 
signs, man. Deserve to be burned to the ground. Failed the puzzle. I, I did the puzzle. I did extra work. I did extra credit and I got none of it. I wish that all the signs would disappear. That's my real wish. I want every sign in the world to disappear. I'm, I'm a true pacifist, but pacifist, I'm not saying I'm gonna fight the signs, okay? I'm saying that I want them to disappear. That's not, I'm not actively doing anything to make them disappear. I just want them to, okay? I'm not gonna, just, it's fine. Uh-oh, uh-oh. It's undied, it's undied. <gasps> Oh, 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 this is okay. Undyne. Oh, I forget why I like her so much. I forget why I liked her. Why did I like her again? Does someone want to remind me? Oh my God. This is terrifying. Look, I want her to grab me with her and throw me away. But I also am very terrified. You know, it does. Oh, okay. This isn't my time to shine. Undyne, we will meet again. Yo, don't worry. I'm sure we'll see her again. Oh, Sans! I forgot you were here. I'm thinking about getting into the telescope business. It's normally 50,000 gold to use this premium telescope, but since I know you, you can use it for free. It's, it's just the pink. It's Now I got pink eye. I look like a rock star. I look like a rock star. Thanks, Sans, you made my day. What the hell is this? What's a star? Can you touch it? Can you eat it? Can you kill it? Are you a star? I am a star. A rock star! Should I explore more here? I feel like I didn't explore here enough. Let's just go... Where am I? What? <gasps> it's a pair of ballet shoes! Are you kidding me? I am a ballerina! I, I mean, you can't see it physically, but I'm wearing a tutu and ballet shoes. If you can't imagine me wearing a tutu and ballet shoes, then get the hell out of here. Get the hell out of here because I am a ballerina and a rock star. I'm a rock star ballerina. I'm a ballerina. I'm a ballerina. And you're a little loser. You're a little loser. Do ah! That's scary. Hello, this is Papyrus. Remember when I asked you about clothes? Well, the friend who wanted to know, her opinion of you was very murdery. But I bet you knew that already. And because you knew that, I told her what you told me you were wearing. A dust- Papyrus! Either way, you don't win! Last time I told him that I wasn't wearing what he thought I was wearing, and this time I told him I was wearing what he thought I was wearing, and he told her that I was anyway! I want to punch him so bad. Because I knew, of course, after such a suspicious question, you would obviously change your clothes. You're such a smart cookie. This way, you're safe, and I didn't lie. No betrayal anywhere. Being friends with everyone is easy. Papyrus, he is the biggest himbo I have ever encountered. Whatever. At least Undyne knows that I look so freaking cool as a barina. A barina? Yeah, sure. Let's go with that. I'm a ballerina, short and stout. Fudge, I missed the thing and now I'm gonna die. Waterfall time, waterfall time. Oh, frick. I'm gonna hum a little tune for you. Exploded diaper. You have a jazz ballad? Oh. Shibba bop bop. Exploded diaper. Shibba bop bop boo boo. Oh, 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 oh. Fuck, I forgot you sang and you are good. And now it is time. The show of the century. Featuring Rin the Human. A show never seen before unless you've watched this playthrough before or watched another playthrough. But whatever, that doesn't count. Wearing her old dusty tutu and ballet shoes. Here is Rin the Human playing the puzzle song thing. I don't know what it's called. Go. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Yes, thank you! Thank you for that marvelous applause! And now it's time, for the second time, to be duped by a dog. It's a legendary artifact, will you take it? Take it! You're carrying too many dogs. We never learn. Get that annoying dog out of here! You deployed the dog. Get the fr- go- the dog absorbs the- get the frick out of here, dog! Go absorb some other artifact! Well, at least I have dog residue. More like dog residue. Am I right? 
you know what? It's okay. You you out applauded yourself when when I did my performance. I understand. It's too. It's fine. We'll we'll just move on. Yo, you got an umbrella. Awesome. Come walk with me, child. There's so much that you don't know, my young thing. Wait, I, aren't you supposed to be walking under the umbrella with me? Well, can I? Can you please stay under the umbrella with me while I tell you all the things I know and the things that you need to know? Life, my young child, is strange. Very strange indeed. Sometimes you make decisions that are not meant to be made. Sometimes those decisions hurt others. Sometimes they quite literally murder others, but that's... Anyway, when you make these decisions, you cannot go back in time, no matter what reset button there is. There's no reset button on the world, child. So just think of every decision as you're making it, and don't murder your mother goat that is protecting you. Uh, no matter how you don't understand how to play a game, just don't do it. It's not a good idea. That's good. Just, yeah. Oh, uh, this is so pretty. I don't want to leave. But I'm going to because I need to go on my date with Undyne and it needs to happen now. You want to see Undyne, right? Climb on my shoulders. Okay. Oh. <laughs> oh, shoot. This is the part with Undyne. Oh, no. We're in another part with Undyne. Oh, I'm not emotionally ready. You know what? This time I'm going to fight for her. Undyne, I'm here. Okay, you don't understand my love for you. You don't understand our history. You don't understand. I know where you're coming from. This is... I don't... Take your threat. Okay, your threat. Oh, okay, no. This is not... I don't... Ah, okay. I know that you're mad. Trust me, I know. But we can work through this. We're meant to be together. Trust me. I saved your life, Undyne. And I will do it again, no matter what you say or do. Oh, frick. Okay, we're just taking our time. Because I... You know what? I got all the time in the world, honey. I forget which way to go. Shoot, I'm I'm going the wrong way. Okay, Undyne. Okay, oh, oh listen, listen, no, 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 no. Okay, Undyne, this is hard. Okay, look, you're being really mean, and I think that you need to take a second, take a second, take a second, breathe. Okay, now I sound like an asshole. Now I sound like condescending. I don't want to condescend you, Undyne. I know that you're capable of calming down if you want to, and you don't want to calm down, and I understand that because you know what? I am, I am an asshole. I am technically an asshole. I, 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 I'm a human, I'm a human, I get it, I get it, I get it. You know what? I don't deserve to be given out of Oh, God. Okay, I'm leaving. It's fine. We'll figure it out another time, Undyne. Oh, frack. Frack. What the hell is that? Undyne, you're making me lose my words because I'm so in love with you. What if I shined your armor for you and then we became friends? No. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, I love you! Who the hell is talking to me right here? It sounds like it came from over here. Oh, you've fallen down, haven't you? Are you okay? Here, get up. Rin, huh? That's a nice name. My name is... Who is that? Who just helped us? Oh, right, the oceans of trash. You got the astronaut food. Hey, what do you know? Oh, I'm I'm a ballerina and an astronaut, a space cadet. Ground control to Major Tom. I got a pretty two to one. Oh, a dummy. Oh, the dummy. Oh. <laughs> Too intimidated to buy me up. What's that is what? I am the ghost that lives inside a dummy. But you're no naps to block. Dummy ghost, you're a dummy dummy ghost. True pacifist, I can still make the comebacks. <laughs> the terrible comebacks. My cousin used to live inside a dummy too until you came along. Wait, what? When you talked to them, they thought they were in for a nice chat. But the things you said, horrible, shocking, unbelievable. I've never spoken to a dummy in my entire life. Unless you're talking about ATBT, BTA, before I, I forget the acronym. If you're talking about my past life, very different. This life, I didn't talk to the dummy. I didn't do anything. Leave me alone. Yo, this guy sucks. Let's get, let's get this guy's ass. Oh, shoot. shoot. Oh, right. We got to hit the dummy with the things. <gasps> Please. Should I eat a food? No. Should I eat a food? Wow. Love that for me. Let's go. Beat up the dummy. I'm not a pacifist in this moment because I'm cheating the system and it's fine because I'm cheating. It's not the same if you're doing it yourself. It's different if you're making them hit themselves. Why are you hitting yourself, dummy? Why are you hitting yourself? Why are you hitting yourself? Okay. Okay! Oh! Oh! God, how did I survive that? These guys are even worse than the other guys. Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? I don't make friends. Oh, I got knives. I forgot about this. Oh my God, don't pull up my gold. I'm not a knife, <laughs> but it doesn't matter. You can't hurt me and I can't hurt you. You'll be stuck right anyway. If 
forever, forever, forever. <gasps> Let's go, my best friend. Get out of here, bitch. Get out of here with your stinky, stinky. <gasps> now Simplik is the real hero of this game. Well, I'm gonna head home now. Feel free to come with if you want. Let's go to Nasbuk's house. <gasps> Part two of Nesbuk sleepover. Temi Village? Wait, I never went to Temi Village. What is that? Hi! Nesbuk, I want to do that thing where we stay on the floor and we question our whole life. Anyway, it was great, uh, <laughs> great hanging out with you, Nesbuk. Really, really had a wonderful time. Oh, frick. Wait, Temi! How do I get to the village? You say hello to Temi. Hi! Oh, Tammy long legs, Tammy long legs. Okay, she's not gonna tell us anything. Goodbye. What the hell was I supposed to do there? Her long legs inc incapacitated me. Where is Temi Village? Is it in here somewhere, maybe? Like, maybe there's another pathway that I missed. Is this Temi Village? <gasps> it is! Ooh, this barbershop quartet? Hello? Hi! They're all just gonna say the same thing. Don't forget my friend! Hi, I'm Bob. <laughs> this is hurting my voice. Who is this? Tam, watch it! It's hard boiled. <laughs> oh, poor Tammy. Who is this? Oh, mushroom dance. Mushroom dance. Whatever could it mean? A mushroom dance. A mushroom dance. A mushroom dance. Whatever could it mean? A mushroom dance. This is the best play. Oh, it symbolizes my inner torment trapped here by my <laughs> My struggle to pull away. My struggle to escape. But alas, to no avail. I cannot believe I never found this area. This is the best thing ever. Tama, how do you mean? I'll just sit down. Dad, okay. Tama, understand. Tama, I'm also allergic to death. Oh, no! Tem, Tammy's allergic to humans! I made someone have an allergic reaction! It's not the first time I've been told. This mushroom is miserable. <laughs> this mushroom is as miserable as me! What do you do if I talk to you again? Mushroom dance, mushroom dance. Whatever could it mean? It's a mushroom dance. If only I could see the world above. But even if the barrier was open, how would I leave? Oh my god, this place is crazy. You feel something. <laughs> You're filled with detemination. <gasps> Hi, welcome to the Tem Shop. Tem pay for college. College, Tem pursue higher education. <laughs> Wait, you can actually sell stuff? Wait, someone in my comments told me I think that I should sell the dog residue. Let's try it. We use the dog residue, the rest of your inventory filled with dog residue. And dog salad? What the heck is that? I have too much stuff, not enough space. Okay, let's try to sell the dog residue. Oh! You got a dog residue! Ah, I gotta have that dog residue, but I gotta pay for college! Yay! Why do I always want a dog residue? What the shit is this? I feel like I'm kind of terrified. All right, Temi Village, it was fun while it lasted, but it's time for me to move on. Also, I love this photo of, <laughs> what is that, a dragon? Amazing, this is the best place I've ever been in my life. If I have to fight Undyne now, I'm actually dead. I'm dead. Just let me, let me drown in this water, please. Behind you. Don't do this to me right now. I'm embarrassed, Undyne. Seven. Ugh. She gets me every time. Her first word to me was seven. I never forgot that number or the word. Seven human souls. Oh! With the power of seven human souls, our king will become a god. Didn't Undyne in my neutral ending, didn't she like literally promise to murder every single human that arrives? <laughs> didn't she like take over and like destroy everyone and destroy everything and, and make it her life's wish that she would find me and kill me? Because you know what? If you want to kiss me so bad, just do it. Like, come on. We know you're obsessed with me, Undyne. You don't need to hide it anymore. Oh my god, not- I'm literally doing what Papyrus did to me. But in our case, it's true. It is a- d d it is true love. It is. Sure, Jan. This is your only chance at redemption. Give up your soul, or I'll tear it from your body. Ooh! Okay.
get my little clothes though. Okay, that was a little scary. Oh, thank you, child, for saving me from my embarrassment. I would have fallen to my knees in a Walmart parking lot, but not in a good way. Hey, you aren't gonna tell my parents about this, are you? Can I have a save spot, please? Can I have a save spot? Please, game. Yo. Come on, kid. Kid, hey. Can you tell Undyne that I'm cool, please? Yo, you're human, right? <sighs> Undyne told me, uh, stay away from that human. I guess that makes us enemies or something. Yo, say something mean so I can hate you, please? I'm a pacifist in this life. Anything I've said before, though maybe it was true, I believe it was something about you looking like a off-brand goldfish or something, <laughs> even if it may be true. I cannot say anything like that because I am a pacifist, and being a pacifist means I don't hurt anybody. I don't hurt them with words. Actually, that's not true because I have said a lot of things during this playthrough that were probably hurtful, and I'm not going to take them back because I've said them already and I don't remember what they are because they happen, and sometimes I say things and I just forget. I'm such a turd. Hey man, you said it, not me. Came out of your mouth, not mine. Ew, that sounded very weird. With turd in the same sentence. I'm, I'm gonna go home now. Take it easy and don't trip, okay? Yo, wait, help, I tripped. Would it be unpacifist of me to just leave them there? <laughs> like, I'm not hurting anybody. I just choose not to help. I'm saving you, get up. If you wanna hurt my friend, you're gonna have to get through me. First. Yeah, beat them up, not me. Later, dude. All right, well, that went swell. This is a, the last fight with Undyne before we fall in love. <laughs> oh my god, she's standing on the tip of a mountain. I mean, what is more romantic than that? Seven. Seven human souls. And King Asgore will become a god. Six. That's how many we have collected thus far. Understand, through your seventh and final soul, this world will be transformed. First, however, as is customary for those who make it this far, I shall tell you the tragic tale of our people. Okay, we've heard this already. I'm sorry, Undyne, but we're gonna skip past that, because, you know. Yeah, it all started long ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, um, go ahead. Oh, no, you know what? Oh, screw it! Why should I tell you the story when you're about to die? Yeah! <laughs> Oh, the unveiling! Hot. You're standing in the way of everybody's hopes and dreams. Well, that's a little harsh. I'm a pacifist. How can I stand? Well, I guess I, I was standing away from the battle, so maybe I was standing in front of some people, standing in the way of some people, but I didn't realize it. You could have just asked me to move. Alphys's history books made me think humans were cool with their giant robots and flowery swordswomen. <gasps> Undyne is into women then. <laughs> But you, you're just a coward, hiding behind that kid so you could run away from me again. Okay, how did she know? And let's not forget your wimpy goody two-shoes shtick. Because I haven't killed anyone, so she can't really be mad at me. She's just basing it off of a stereotype. Oh, I'm making such a difference by hugging Ren. <laughs> Oh, I'm making such a difference by hugging random strangers. You know what would be more valuable to everyone? If you were dead. <laughs> Undyne. Look, last time she was kind of heroic. She was like, oh, I'm gonna save these people because you fucking murdered Toriel and you murdered that veg vegetable. But this time she's just like mocking me. She's mocking my pacifism. And it's very, very hard to keep up my morals when she's laughing in my face. That's right, human. Your continued existence is a crime. Oh my god. That is so mean. Your life is all that stands between us and our freedom. Right now, I can feel everyone's hearts pounding together. Everyone's been waiting their whole lives for this moment. Everyone is just you, Undyne. You need to chill out. Everybody else here has been pretty nice to me. Like, even Aaron, the flexing, like, uh, freaking mermaid was nicer than you are right now. I'm honestly beginning to rethink the entirety of this operation. This pacifism. When everyone puts their hearts together, they can't lose. And now, human, let's end this right here, right now. I'll show you how determined monsters can be. Step forward when you're ready. <laughs> what the hell is that? <laughs> Boo -hoo 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 -hoo. You know what? The wind is howling. I'm filled with determination. I will not let her get me down. She's really make testing my faith in her love for me, but I will not let her because I still believe us to be true. On guard? Wait, why am I green? I don't remember this. 
As long as you're green, you can't escape. Unless you learn to face danger head on. You won't last a second against me. Oh crap, it's this shit. And now sunlight is just within our reach. You can have sunlight whenever you want, baby. I got it for premium. I'll save it for you. Just let me run away. She thinks of her friends and pounds the ground with her fist. I did nothing to your friends. I hurt nobody. The only one I hurt is like myself. The biggest person that I hurt is myself, and that's why I'm a pacifist now. That's my- I should have said that from the beginning. That's definitely the major point. That's not- I'm not, I'm not a pacifist because I wanted a better ending. I'm a pacifist because I wanted to better myself. That's exactly what the- That's what I did, okay? Anything I said before that, Undyne, is not true. Escape! Let's go. Run! Oh, 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 she caught me. She caught me. Well, what if I like the chase? What if I like the chase? And what then? And what then? And what then? And what then, bitch? Sorry, didn't mean to say that to you. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm out of here. Mm, nice try. I'm out of here. Okay, she got me again. I am more determined than you ever know. You freaking tried it. And I got it from you anyway. Do da dee da do to do 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 dee da to do did da boo ba ba dee ba ba. I'm gonna get out of this. Can you let me leave? Die already, you little brat. Okay, I just screwed the entirety of this up. I'm about to freaking... I just... I need to leave. Let me go. Oh, oh, oh. Yes! Again, he scared the shit out of me. Hey, uh, what's up? I was just thinking, uh, you and me and the dice are all like out some time. Oh, 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 papyrus. I think you would make great pals. I think so too. Can you call her? Can you call her right now? How about you call her right now? Let's meet up at her house later. Okay, I'm run! Break. Oh, God. Okay, well, shit off. Shit off? What the hell does that mean? Go, 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 go. Sons! Run, run. Oh, baby, step back. Armor. So hot. That's not the only thing that's hot. What? But I can't give up. No, Undyne, step back. Chill. De no! Everyone make way. Make way! Don't just take a cup of water. Take the whole freaking thing. Give her the whole freaking tub of water. Give her a whole river. Give her the entire ocean. Undyne, I will spit on you if it means you'll wake up. Oh. That got her up right real fast. <laughs> Go. Whew. We did it. We did it. <gasps> Wait, let's call Papyrus. Ah, a mysterious science house. Wait, oh my god, they're talking about where I am? I didn't know you could do this. The sign outside says lab. Lab? Like laboratory? Laboratory? Does that mean there are dogs inside? <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't rule it out. Oh my god. Is Sans calling Alphys a dog? Like, you dirty dog. Let's go to the waterfall. We're going on our date with Undyne this instant. I'm gonna cry. We're going on our date with Undyne. I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry. We're going on our date with Undyne. Uh, I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry. We're going on a date with Undyne. Wait, I feel like, oh my god. Uh, I feel like I should wear something special. Uh, who am I kidding? I'm wearing a tutu and ballerina shoes. <gasps> here we are. Here we are. Here we are. Wait, what if I call Papyrus right in front of him? That's Undyne's house. You know, the one with the skeleton in front. <laughs> <laughs> I love how I call Papyrus a himbo, but I'm just as much as a himbo as he is. Oh, uh, yeah, sorry, man. I didn't see you there. What's going on? Oh, the human arrives. Are you ready to hang out with a dog? Yes, I'm so freaking ready. I have a plan to make you two great friends. Oh, my God. I'm actually freaking out. Will you hang out? Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, stand by me. I'm here. I'm standing. Psst, make sure to give her this. She loves these. <laughs> is that a dog bone? I don't have one. I don't have one. Oh. <gasps> oh. Hi, Papyrus. She's so excited to see him. Oh my god, who would have thought my ex would set me up with Undyne? Oh, let's go. Ready for your extra private one-on-one -on -one training? <laughs> Papyrus, you're giving up your one-on-one -on -one training so that you can set me up with Undyne? Wow, anything bad I said about Papyrus, I take back. He is the best. He is truly the best. You bet I am. And I bought a friend. <gasps> it's me. Hi. I don't think I can. I can't even keep my cool in this scene. I'm not even, like, trying to be, like, annoying. I Hi. I don't think we've... Uh... <laughs> no, it's chill. It's chill. It's cool, right? Why don't you two come in? 
Okay. Oh my god. Why did, why did Papyrus just go like, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> He's nervous for me. Okay, let's go in. I'm scared. This is a big commitment. I'm going in. <gasps> you have a piano. Oh my god, please play me a song on the piano on dying. I'm going to throw a fit. You went dying. My friend bought a gift for you on their own. <gasps> Papyrus is so sweet. I love Papyrus. Uh, thanks. Oh, I'll uh, put it with the others. Oh! <laughs> so are we ready to start? Uh, whoopsie doopsie! I just remembered. <laughs> Papyrus! I have to go to the bathroom. You two have fun. Oh! Oh! The fu- <laughs> What? I can't- I act like- <laughs> Let me say it right now, Papyrus is the best wingman I have ever experienced. You know what? I take that back. He's the best bone man. Huh? <sighs> but I'm ch I'm s okay, that was bad. We'll just move on. So why are you here? To rub your victory in my face? To humiliate me even further? Is that it? No! No, though, if you wanted me to humiliate you, I would. <laughs> That's too far. We need to calm down. Then why are you here? Wait, I get it. You think that I'm gonna be friends with you, huh? I mean, maybe? Is that so bit hard to imagine? That we could be friends or more? Or, you know, more? Or more? Or, you know, friends or more? Or more? Or more? Something like that? Something? Or more? I want- yeah, I'm gonna be honest, yeah, I wanna be friends with you. Really? How delightful! I accept. Wait, really? Let's all frolic in the fields of friendship. Okay, so you're making fun of me? That's what you're doing? Not! Why would I ever be friends with you? If you weren't my house guest, I'd beat you up right now. Damn, is that a promise? <laughs> you're the enemy of everyone's hopes and dreams. There it goes again, with the- with the- Hopes and dreams, I'm the death of hopes and dreams, I'm in the way of hopes and dreams. Look, I'm just- standing here man i didn't do anything i have an uneven haircut like what do you want from me if i'm standing in the way of everyone's hopes and dreams they can look over my head because i'm really short i will never be your friend now get out of my house no oh <laughs> dang what a shame <laughs> papyrus saved me this is going terribly i thought undyne could be friends with you but i guess uh i overestimated her she's just not up to the challenge. Papyrus, you fucking genius! Reverse psychology, the fish. Challenge, what? Papyrus, wait a second. Darn it. <laughs> Fooled again, be my friend. He thinks I can't be friends with you. <laughs> I can make friends with a wimpy loser like you any day. Okay, look, you could have said one or the other, wimpy or loser. I'd take either, but both in the same sentence? Really? <laughs> I'll show him. Listen up, human. We're not just gonna be friends. We're gonna be besties! Ah! Oh my god! Let's be best friends. <gasps> Let's have sleepovers! Oh my god! I'll make you like me so much. You won't be able to think of anyone else. Oh, you've already succeeded, Undyne. <laughs> it's the perfect revenge. Why don't you have a seat? <laughs> this is too good. Oh! I can't believe he leapt through the window like that. Normally, he nails the landing. <laughs> One time, Alphys's friend came over here. All he did was lie seductively on the piano and fed himself grapes. I don't really like that guy, but I admire his lifestyle. <laughs> Metaton! Oh my god, wait, you've met Metaton? There's a silverware drawer. It has forks, spoons, knives, tiny swords, axes, spears, nunchucks. A woman after my heart. I hate gold food. So Alf has fixed up my fridge so it heats up food instead. Hot fridge. The world's greatest invention. Undyne is so cute. Also, the fact that she keeps talking about Alphys, we need to talk about that. Humans suck, but their history kind of rules. Case in point, this giant sword. 
Historically, humans wielded swords up to ten times their size. Right, I... you know, in this world it could be right, so I'll just agree with you. Because agreeing with everyone, everything that someone says is the first way to friendship. <laughs> when I first heard that, I immediately wanted one. So me and Alphys built a giant sword together. Oh, Alphys this, Alphys that. When is it gonna become Rin this, Rin that? Are we gonna get there? I hope so. She figured out all the specs herself. She's smart, huh? I hate to break it to you, if you're in love with Alphys, Alphys is actually in love with me. Don't ask me how I know it yet. We haven't gotten to that point yet in this playthrough. But uh, she is in love with me. What's in this room? You want to see my room? Too bad. No nerds allowed. Well, maybe some nerds. Aww. I'm your nerd, Undyne. Comfortable? Yeah. I mean, it's a stool. It's not the most comfortable, but it could be worse. I'll get you something to drink. Oh my god, look at Undyne! Look at her ponytail! All set. What would you like? I- I- OH! Hey! Don't get up! Oh, I went to go choose a vet beverage. Undyne, I was gonna- I was just gonna- I was just going to choose a beverage. Undyne, I was just gonna get- You thought I was gonna- I wasn't gonna hurt you. I wasn't gonna hurt you unless you had Pepsi instead of Coke. <clears throat> You're the guest! Sit down and enjoy yourself! Why not just point to what you want? You can use the spear. Okay, so we can either have sugar goes in tea, a sickly yellow soda, hot chocolate, or tea box. Blatantly correct choice. What if I pointed at her? Undyne? <gasps> Does that mean I want to drink you up? Oh! Undyne, I want you. Are you hitting on me? <laughs> Uh, let's move on. Um, I'll have the hot chocolate. You want some hot chocolate? I just remembered that container's empty. I stopped getting it because it was always a hassle. Asgore kept getting marshmallows stuck in his beard. That's so cute. So, what's this? That sugar's for the tea. I'm not gonna give you a cup of sugar. What do I look like? The ice cream woman? Do human ice cream women terrorize humanity with energy spears? Are their ice cream songs a prelude to destruction? Is that it? Yeah, precisely. That's actually exactly what ice cream women do. What? Really? That rules! I'm gonna cry. I absolutely love this so much. Oh, soda? Actually, even though you pointed to it, you don't look happy. That's fine. I think soda's gross too. It rots your teeth. It rots your mind. It rots your fighting spirit! Huh? Why do I have it? Uh, oh! Okay, fine. We'll go with tea just because Undyne wants us to, but I will not drink it. Tea, huh? Coming right up. I love this so much, and I'm never gonna get over it. It'll take a moment for the water to boil. We're literally best friends. I can't do this. Okay, it's all done. Here we are. Look how close we're standing. Don't, don't panic. Everybody, don't panic. Take a deep breath. I didn't just sniff her. What are you talking? I didn't just sniff Undyne. You're, you're lying. Cut the- cut the- cut the video. Cut the cameras. I said cut! Careful. It's hot. Just like you. What do we do now? It's not that hot. Just drink it already. <laughs> okay. You take a sip of the tea. It's burning. But other than that, it's pretty good. It's pretty good, right? Nothing but the best for my absolutely precious friend. We are absolutely precious friends. ABFs. Absolute- oh wait. APFs. APFs. Absolutely precious friends. That's what they call us. That's the badge they gave us at birth. APFs. We're absolutely best friends. Perfect. We're absolutely perfect friends. Wait, absolutely best ABF. Wait, what was the acronym again? Frack! Frack! What am I saying? Hey, it's kind of strange that you chose that tea. Golden flower tea. That's Asgore's favorite kind. So you're saying that we're family, basically? That because I chose the same tea as Asgore, like we're best friends and family and... We're gonna all be happy in the end? Actually, now that I think about it, you kind of remind me of him. You're both total weenies. <laughs> okay. Okay, you know what? I I'll take it. It's better than Wimpy Loser. Oh, are we about to get, like, backstory? <gasps> you know, I was a pretty hot-headed kid. Once, to prove I was the strongest, I tried to fight Asgore. Emphasis on tried. I couldn't land a single blow on him. And worse, the whole time, he refused to fight back. What a king. I was so humiliated. Afterwards, he apologized and said something goofy. Excuse me, do you want to know how to beat me? I said yes, and from then on, he trained me. One day, during practice, I finally knocked him down. I felt 
bad, but he was beaming. I had never seen someone more proud to get their butt kicked. Anyway, long story short, he kept training me, and now I'm the head of the Royal Guard. That is so cute. Shut up. My heart! So I'm the one who gets to train dorks to fight. Like, uh, Papyrus. Aww! But, uh, to be honest, I don't know if I can ever let Papyrus into the Royal Guard. Don't tell him I said that. He's just, well, a himbo. I mean, it's not that he's weak. He's actually pretty freaking tough. It's just that he's, he's too innocent and nice. He is! Maybe past me wouldn't have agreed with you. Maybe past me would have said Papyrus is a lying, cheating bastard. <laughs> but now, I see Papyrus, he's got a heart of gold. Well, he's got a heart of bone, probably. Like, there's just bone there. There's nothing there. There's no, it's not really, like, malleable there. But he's, if he had a heart, it would be made of gold. I mean, look, he was supposed to capture you. And he ended up being friends with you instead. I could never send him into battle. He'd get ripped into little smiling shreds. I started teaching him how to cook, you know? <gasps> he learned how to cook spaghetti from Uncle. I can't. It's all connected. Maybe he can do something else with his life. He's gonna become a chef on YouTube. What? Oh, sorry. I was talking for so long. You're out of tea, aren't you? Yeah, but it's fine. You don't have to- No, you don't have to get me some- uh, I'll get you some more. No, you don't have to get me some more. I really don't want any more tea, please. Wait a second. Papyrus, his cooking lesson. He was supposed to have that right now! And if he's not here to have it, you'll have to have it for him! Whoa! 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 That's right! Nothing has brought Papyrus and I closer than cooking! Which means that if I give you his lesson, we'll become closer than you can ever imagine! Oh my god! Let's cook undone, let's do it! That brings us together more! Oh my god, my love language is now cooking! <laughs> Afraid? We're gonna be best friends! No, I'm not! I'm so excited! Whoa! Whoa! Oh my god, she's got my hair, she's got my head! Oh my god, that was the most intense thing I've ever felt in my life! Let's start with the sauce! Oh! Oh! Gimme! Is that a banana? Envision these vegetables as your greatest enemy! Now, pound them to dust with your fists! How will you pound? Strong or wimpy? I am no wimpy kid! I will pound strong! You punch the vegetables at full force, you knock over a tomato! Yeah! Yeah! Our hearts are uniting against these healthy ingredients! Now it's my turn! Yeah! Go! Oh shit! Uh, we'll just scrape this into the bowl later. Oh my god, this is the best thing I've ever experienced! But for now... Oh! We add the noodles. Homemade noodles are the best. But I just buy store brand! They are the cheapest! Ah! <laughs> that ain't the truth! Uh, just put them in the pot. <laughs> Let's go! How you put them in? Fiercely, carefully. Let's do it fiercely. Go! You throw everything into the pot as hard as you can, including the box. Oh, it clanks against the empty bottom. Yeah! I'm into it! And now it's time to stir the pasta. As a general rule of thumb, the more you stir, the better it is. Ready? Let's do it. Let's stir! I'm stirring! I'm stirring so hard! Stir harder! I'm doing it! I'm done! Harder! Okay! Okay! Harder! Okay! Okay, I'm doing it! I'm doing it! I'm doing it! Ugh. Let me do it. Oh, shh! Shit! <laughs> and that's the stuff. All right, now for the final step. Turn up the heat! Ooh, okay, we're turning up the heat. Let the stovetop symbolize your passion. Let your hopes and dreams turn into burning fire. Ready? Don't hold anything back. Okay, I'm holding right! Turn it up! I'm lighting it on fire. Our, our passion is hotter than all of the flames in the world! Hotter! Wait, that's too- <gasps> Um, can I- <gasps> No, I burned your house! I mean, this is an accurate representation of how hard our passion is, because it's just so hot it burns down a house. Man, no wonder Papyrus sucks at cooking. <laughs> so, what's next? Scrapbooking? Friendship bracelets? <laughs> can we please? Oh, who am I kidding? I really screwed this up, didn't I? No! I can't force you to like me, human. Some people just don't get along with each other. What are you talking about? This was going great! I understand if you feel that way about me. And if we can't be friends, that's okay. Because if we're not friends, it means I can destroy you without regret! What?! What?! No! 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 No!
you know, um, I didn't know. I I, I am your friend. I don't. We we could burn down another house or something. Now, someone is like right next door. We can just go burn down that house. I've been defeated. My house is in shambles. I even failed to befriend you. You didn't fail. I'm right here. I'm right here. Look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. That's it. I don't care if you're my guest anymore. One final rematch. All out on both sides. No. It's the only way I can regain my lost pride. No. Now, come on. Hit me with all you've got. Nah. Undyne is letting you make the first attack. No, I'm not. I'm sparing. Show me what you've got. I'm not. I'm literally not doing it. I can't fight Undyne. What am I supposed to do? Fake attack. Fake attack. Fake attack. We'll do like a stage fight. I'll slap you and then hit my own leg. You pretend to swing at Undyne with all your might. <laughs> oh, I, I didn't do anything. I didn't hit you. What? That's the best you can manage? Even attacking at full force? You just can't muster any intent to hurt me, huh? <sighs> you know what? <gasps> I don't actually want to hurt you either. <gasps> I love you so much. At first... I hated your stupid sat saturi saccharine shtick. What the hell is that word, Undyne? What dictionary did you pull that out of? The way you hit me right now, it reminded me of someone I used to train with. Now I know you aren't just some wimpy loser. You're a wimpy loser with a big heart. <laughs> oh, come on. It's true, though. It's true. And that's why it makes me mad. Just like him. Like Asgore? Oh my god, I'm gonna cry. Listen, human, it seems that you and Asgore are fated to fight. <gasps> we are. I know this. But knowing him, he probably doesn't want to. Talk to him. I'm sure you can persuade him to let you go home. Eventually, some mean human will fall down here, and I'll take their soul instead. That makes sense, right? <laughs> oh, and if you do hurt Asgore, I'll take the human souls, cross the barrier, and beat the hell out of you. <laughs> You know what? That's a fair deal. That's what friends are for, right? Boo! Now let's get the hell out of this flaming house. Yeah, this fl Oh my god, it's literally on fire. This house is on fire! <laughs> well, that was fun, huh? We'll have to hang out again another time, but, uh, somewhere else, I guess. Your house is literally burning to the ground. In the meantime, I guess I'll go hang with Papyrus. So if you need me, drop by Snowden, okay? Oh, and if you ever need help, just give Papyrus a ring, okay? Since we're in the same spot, I'll be able to talk too. Well, see you later, punk! Oh, the runaway! Oh my god, that was the best experience of my life. I knocked on the door. Sounds like only fire lives here now. We literally burnt down Undyne's house with our passion. Thank you.